opening round of 2016 got underway in typically glamorous fashion in Monte Carlo's Casino Square, where the teams were joined by celebrities and dignitaries to welcome in the new season. The event got underway in the darkness of Thursday evening and Chris Meek was quick to discover how testing the conditions would be. Thankfully, no harm done with this spin in stage one. As day dawned the following morning, though, it was Meek who led. Three-time world champion and local star Sebastian Ogier having to attack from the off to recover the top spot. This particularly wintry Monte Carlo event, though, was predictably proving unforgiving. One icy corner in the Corp test, in particular, was taking no prisoners. Hayden Padden clipping the tree here, damage suspension ending his run. Soon after, Robert Kubica also tried to tiptoe his way through, but the Polish privateer would have an equally frustrating slow-motion incident on the ice. WRC two-runner Elvin Evans adding insult to injury. Fast forward to the afternoon loop, and not to be outdone, new boy Eric Camilli throwing his Fiesta RS off into the trees a few metres further down the road. Saturday would prove devastating for a pair of the big guns. Third place Yadimati Latvala was fighting hard to maintain his position, but drifted offline and into a ditch in stage 11. <laughs> Briefly off the road, he would continue, but the damage caused to his suspension would mean his rally was over. Chris Meek, meanwhile, won a stage midway through Saturday to close on the leader, but in stage 12, it all went wrong. This trip over the snow was survived, but later a rogue rock in the racing line would remove his sump guard and smash his gearbox. Meek out too after a stunning opening three days. A couple of local boys were in trouble as well. Stefan Lefebvre would survive this spin. But the damage caused to Brian Bouffier's suspension after this accident would mean the end of the road for him as well. At the front, though, another Frenchman again reigned supreme with his closest rival Meek out of action. Barring disaster, a third successive Monte Carlo victory was within reach for Ogier. On the final leg, Thierry Neuville saw his hopes of a late challenge for second, hampered by transmission problems, but the Belgian did hold on to secure a podium on the first rally for the new I-20. Andreas Mikkelsen had looked strong on the opening round of 2016, the Norwegian holding on to secure a 1-2 finish for Volkswagen. But it would be Sebastian Ogier behind the wheel of his all-conquering Volkswagen Polo R who screamed through the power stage en route to a hat-trick of Monte Carlo wins. That's fantastic. This rally is the most important of the season for me. It's so emotional to be there in Monte Carlo. I was dreaming like a kid. I repeat this story all the time, but I mean, it's, it's, it's so great. It was an ominous marker from the three-time champ that he's as hungry as ever. OGA's 33rd victory secured by almost two minutes. Andreas Mikkelsen second with Thierry Neville steering the all-new I-20 to a podium on its debut.